Hello everyone, I'm Barmi Yoon, Game Director for Township Tale, and today we're talking about the last few updates to Township Tale on Quest, and what they're all about. Ever since we launched, we've been keeping our ears firmly pressed to the ground on all of the feedback and reviews that you've provided, and that's what's been driving us to release new patches and updates to the game. To start things off, in the last few patches, we've improved on the game's accessibility. Many of you may be familiar with the Grab Assist function that lets you grab items from a distance, but now you can also enable an accessibility mode that lets you interact with your tool belt inventory more easily, as well as the ability for you to increase and lower your height. This is particularly useful for seated players who would have had physical obstructions, but anybody of different heights and physical conditions can also appreciate this change. Another one of the first things we've addressed is the general fluidity of your character motions. At launch, players would have experienced a feeling of stutteriness that made the game feel like it performed at lower frame rates than it actually did. This was an issue with how we moved your character, and that has now been fixed to provide a much smoother and more comfortable experience. You may not be able to notice a difference in this video, but when you're there in VR, in person, moving about, you'll definitely be able to feel this major improvement. If this is, was an issue that you experienced during launch, we would love to hear your thoughts about this change. We've also added firebugs to the quest. Whilst a relatively small addition, these insects make the darkness of the caves less of a threat if you find yourself stuck in absolute pitch black. These critters will come out of the ground and you can pick them up and shake them to light your surroundings. Or you can ruthlessly kill them to rekindle your fire. Now, when it comes to development, the tutorial of the game has also been a point of difficulty for a lot of newcomers, both with how long it can take and how the actual game world itself doesn't provide you with information on things that weren't taught in the tutorial. For this reason, we've made the tutorial experience skippable, so that you can join your friends in the game immediately. And we're also in the process of reworking the tutorial experience. This aims to teach new players key information and consume a lot less time as well as not be prone to typical multiplayer grievances. On top of that, we're looking to equip players in the actual game world, so in town, to better understand all of the stations and functions that the town can provide. Aside from these things, there are many more bugs and small improvements we've made to the game that you can check out in the several patch notes in the description. We're also keenly aware of more improvements and fixes that we can make. So thank you everybody for reporting issues and playing the game. See you later, townspeople.